Thank you for tuning in once again to my audio and happy 4th of July to all of my subscribers and all of my subscribers to be. I really appreciate you subscribing and listening to my audios and sometimes my videos. Today I'm coming with another breaking story. This time is about the 6.4 earthquake that happened in Los Angeles and Las Vegas, Nevada. The earthquake system, the alert system, did work as it was designed, which uh, everybody pretty much knew that it was possibly going to happen, but nobody is never really for sure. But this time it actually happened, you guys. A 6.4 earthquake. That is pretty doggone big. Thank God it was like northeast side of Los Angeles going on into Vegas. And um, I'm here to tell you, I happened to experience an earthquake when I was in California. I actually had moved there when I was 21 years old and I'd heard all about these earthquakes, but until you really experience one, it is something else. I recall um, standing in my doorway when I felt something really move and shake and I was all alone. So I was so afraid because I'm like, the whole world is moving underneath my feet. And I had no control of the world moving just to feel the entire world moving under your feet. And it's nothing you could do about it. So all I did, I tried to run under the doorway as if I was going to run outside. But I had nowhere to run and I had nowhere to hide. When I looked outside, I actually saw cars turning up and down just like toys big, I mean, big cars and trucks. And I'm looking at this and I'm turning in my building the same way, just turning with the way the, the, the earth shake was making the buildings go. I happened to be in that. And then you know what? All I could do was pray. I was all alone. Can you imagine being in a big new, big new city all alone and you're in your business, you all happy, you're young, you're starting your business and the big earthquake hit and you are all alone. I was not with anyone from California at that time. I was by myself. And all I could do was pray. And I thank God to show you how he created this heaven and earth. And to feel the earth fall back in place. Everything was crumbling. Everything broke. I lost a lot of people I knew. I know people that's lost family, that Bay Bridge that I used to travel back and forth crossing from San Francisco to the Bay Area to Oakland, that bridge. I mean, I have a phobia right now when I go there crossing that bridge. And I used to drive that bridge back and forth. I mean, from 21 years, I mean, 20, 30 years, just driving back and forth. And you could still see an indentation in the bridge from when they repaired it. I mean, it was something else. And I tell you, people in California, they, they're they like, I'm not going to the South because you have hurricanes and you have the floods and everything. And the people in California and the people here in Houston talk about the earthquakes. So I had people from both sides because I was bi-coastal and people, I would hear from both. And I experienced both because... When I first relocated and brought my business back to Houston, Maryland area, um, at that time, no one told me because I've been, I've been in California for over 20 some years and I didn't know that that Maryland area floods like that. So actually I had shipped my car uh, to Maryland area and I was living over there off of Braisewood at that time. And my new car went underwater. I shipped my car here. No one told me it was a flood. It was something else. I mean, where I was living, people were coming out in boats. They had boats. And I'm like, oh, my God, I experienced the earthquake. And then now I come to Houston, I'm experiencing the hurricane. So you see, there is no one, nowhere you can run, you guys. And there is absolutely nowhere you can hide. When Mother Nature kicks in and strikes, you just have to pray and hope that everything comes out okay. And that's exactly what I did in both situations. In the earthquake situation, I saw how everything just landed back smoothly 
of course, everything was crumbled. Glass was everywhere. I was just thankful that I didn't get injured like many did. But I did experience it. And I said, boy, that was some experience to feel how God can move this earth and turn it upside down and place it back on solid ground. Something else. Then I came here. And like I said, the hurricane. So I've experienced, I've experienced Allison. When I came, it was Allison in Houston. And then it was Ike. And then it was Harvey. So, so far since I've been back in Houston, I've experienced three different hurricanes, you guys. And been so blessed. I am so thankful to still be alive through all of this stuff. But one thing I know for sure is that when it's time to strike, it's nothing you can do. That shows you the power of God who created this universe. It is something else. So when people say, um, oh, I'm not going to move there because of this, or I'm not going to go there because of that, it doesn't matter. Because it's going to happen something no matter where you go. So with that, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. The 6.4 earthquake hit Los Angeles, uh, headed on into Las Vegas, and the alert system did work. So that means that these systems are design that they're designing now is actually letting us know what's going to happen before it happened. So I did try to reach my girlfriend. I haven't heard back from her yet in Los Angeles. So I hope that everything is okay. And if you guys have relatives out there, you can also check. And let me know what you think um, about the earthquakes and the hurricanes. And if anybody experienced anything similar to what I have, let me know. Leave it in your comments. And I will be coming back with more. Oh, one thing I wanted to say is they did not say anyone was killed so far. You know, because when you have those earthquakes, you have to find out uh, in buildings under bricks. And uh, and so hopefully they had rollers because in San Francisco, they had the rollers, you know, like the rollers under some of the buildings. The newer buildings now have rollers. So when the earthquake hits, the building kind of rolls with you. But uh, at the time I experienced it, it was no rollers anywhere. I saw the cars move like toys right before my eyes, turning upside down, inside out. Big trucks, cars, because I was looking outside of my door and I was like, oh my God, i never seen anything like it. So let me know what you think about these earthquakes and these hurricanes and which one you think is the worst or just give me your thoughts on uh, what's going on with those earthquakes and hurricanes. Leave your comment. Please click like, share, and subscribe. And I thank all of you for listening to my audio. Sometimes I don't have pictures because I can really talk, you know. And sometimes I don't have pictures if I'm just not um, feeling quite well or not looking exactly how I want to look for the camera. But I really, really want to bring you these stories to keep you posted in case you have people in California or people in Vegas. Then you can call and check on them. So with that, I'm going to end my show and thank you once again for tuning in to Celebrity and Variety Talk Show with Josie Latimer. I'm your host, Josie Latimer, and I will be coming back with more breaking news. Thank you for tuning in. Bye. Click like, share, and subscribe.